Okay, so over the last few videos in this series, I've been taking a look at the 12-inch action figures released from character options for their Doctor Who line. Now, today I'm going to turn my attention to the remote control Daleks that were released sort of as part of this line. The truth is, this is a little bit of a sneaky entry on my part because these Daleks aren't technically speaking part of the 12 inch line and the reason for that is that it comes down to scaling but we'll get onto that a little bit later in the video. That said, I did really want to include these remote control Daleks in my full roundup and I thought this was an appropriate series to put them in. Now, these remote control Daleks were one of the first big deluxe items that Character Options produced all the way back in 2005 for the debut launch of the new series of Doctor Who. They produced the standard gold Dalek that was remote control and made lights and sound effects, which is absolutely fantastic. And these Daleks were very big sellers for character options, so much so that they were able to produce a number of variants across the years, including specific Dalek characters like Dalek Thay, the Supreme Dalek, Daleks from the new Dalek paradigm, and we even had a Davros and a special 50th anniversary Union Jack Dalek. And today I'm going to take a look at Dalek Sec, my favourite modern Dalek from the TV show. Now, the first thing to note with these Daleks is just how fantastic their proportions and dimensions are. They look pretty much pitch perfect. And due to their size and because of their remote control parts, they are actually quite hefty as well. Now, it's strange to talk about sculpting when we're talking about things like a Dalek, but there have been many Daleks across the years and there have been many faux pas when it comes to accurate sculpts and accurate dimensions in Daleks. Sometimes skirts are just too long or too broad, but here character options have absolutely nailed it. And when it comes to all the fine detail that we see in the eye stalk, the ears, <laughs> in the grill, everything about this is just spot on and it looks absolutely glorious. There's a lot of attention to detail all over this doll. We can see this in the dome in particular. All the rivets and grooves and bits and pieces all look pretty accurate to what we see on screen and very, very faithfully reproduced, which is great. But undoubtedly, the star of this light up doll has to be the eye stalk. This neon blue light is so vivid and strong, it will blind you. <laughs> Likewise, we can see lots of detailing and very nice paint applications on the main body of this Dalek as well. We can see there's a matte paint and there's a glossy black paint over there just helping it to really shine and catch the light. And we can see lots of detailing in the plunger and particularly in the gun arm as well, which is great. When we look at the skirt, again, we have those bumps that are nice glossy plastic that will allow you to see your reflection in them. And then we have the skirt at the bottom, which looks really solid and welded together, which is brilliant. Now, it's a pretty odd thing to talk about articulation when we're talking about Daleks, because there's not an awful lot to them that can really move, but there is plenty of articulation on this Dalek. So for a start, there are ball joints in the gun arms and the plunger. So of course, you can move these all the way around. You can move them up and down and from side to side. And there's a pretty good range of motion here, at least as much as you'd expect from on screen. But there's also this fantastic articulation in the chest area as well. So the middle point of the torso turns from side to side. But undoubtedly, my favourite part of this Dalek is actually the lights and sounds. On the remote control, we have the option for the Dalek to say a number of classic Dalek phrases. Multiple spectrum scanning now engaged. Seek, locate, annihilate. Obey the Daleks. No other warning will be given. Exterminate. And that is only about half of the total amount of phrases this Dalek can say. But undoubtedly, the king feature of this Dalek is the remote control aspect. With the remote control, you can send this Dalek whizzing around your living room, your kitchen, or anywhere that has a flat surface. And it can go merrily about with its eye stalk moving up and down, its dome moving left to right, and happily exterminating whenever you press that button. Now then, the main reason I said that this Dalek doesn't really technically fit in with the 12 in line is because they're not really in scale with the other figures in the collection, which is a real shame. If we put the Dalek next to the 10th Doctor, we can see here that obviously Dalek Zek just towers above the 10th Doctor. 
He's not only taller, but he's also broad, and obviously he's just a different scale. And it's a real shame, because if he'd just been fractionally smaller, I think it would have been absolutely fantastic to have an in-scale remote control dog to go along with this 12-inch line. But sadly, it's just ever so slightly too big, uh, which is a real shame, because I think this would have been absolutely fantastic. But all that being said, what a star. This is an absolutely wonderful centerpiece for any Doctor Who collection and everything about it just works. It's a fantastic sculpt. There's lots of nice paint apps, wonderful detailing in there, but I love the fact that it's articulated. I love that it's remote control. I love the lights and sounds, particularly that light and that voice chip is absolutely brilliant stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and remember to subscribe as there'll be plenty more videos soon.